snowing back home. Yeah, it's snowing in Boston. Right we just made it. It's not snowing here. The water is Perfect. very, very warm. And it's so good. Welcome back to Escape. Last time on Escape, Nation went berserk looking for a dolphin, and we continued on down the ICW headed south with Paviti Turn. After a full day on the ICW, we anchored up with Mike at Cape Malabar and woke up to a cold front coming through and had a rude awakening that morning we had to get out of there quickly and sail the rest of the way to Stewart Manatee Pocket this time on escape we pick up where we left off in Manatee Pocket, Port Salerno, where we come in from the anchorage and grab a slip. Manatee Pocket is a great place to come and hang out. There's tons of bars and there's an outboard shop. Uh, there's even a consignment store and it's a very protected anchorage. With our six foot draft, I think our keel was in the mud the whole time. Uh, it does tend to fill up quickly and the surrounding slips usually require reservations uh, because they're pretty full as well uh, but it's a great spot to come and check out just try not to get trapped for too long It's not long enough? I just want to put it in two. Go back to where it started from. Finally a slip. Port Slurno. Thank God. Alright bud, that's how you gotta do it, right through here. On this side. Yep, just jump right down. You got it, big boy. You got it right here. Jump. Jump. Go ahead. Come on, Nation. Try the other side. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you gotta come through here. Nation. Go ahead. Jump. Come jump. Come on, you're gonna have to learn how to do this. Try and jump. Jump. Watch it. Come on. Go ahead. Jump. Come on. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, probably have to have it to you. We spent our fair share of time over at the Grove and the Twisted Tuna, and how could you not? Our boat was right there. 
Mike just got caught in a little storm out there. He just drifted. Anchor started dragging, dragged right across the channel. Wow. Probably a little 50 mile an hour squall. Mike had to run out there. Yeah, it looks like he's motoring. He's driving back to his spot. It's pouring rain right now. He's out there doing this all by himself. I'm sure he's fucking pissed. Manatee Pocket did have its downfalls, uh, not everything was perfect. For starters, the water was absolutely disgusting. I don't know if you guys remember hearing about Martin County water problem in Florida, but yeah, that's exactly where we were. So you couldn't go in the water, and uh, it's, it's a bit of a trap, we'll just leave it at that. There he goes. There he goes, a bit. There he goes. Just as the rain stops. Mike had had enough of Manatee Pocket and Stewart and took off for the Florida Keys. Well, we made it. We made it to Florida. We camped out in Manatee Pocket. 
in Stewart, Stewart, Florida. We found a slip at Port Salerno. And now we're just enjoying life. We're gonna keep going farther south. This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. since I've done one of these unboxing videos but got a new toilet <laughs> it's not the most glamorous but I'm sure some people are wondering how to install these things I know I kind of am I've never done it before so I guess I'll just let you guys follow along hopefully it doesn't get too graphic <laughs> this is the Jabsco twist and walk it's actually on sale right now it's $169 I really hope this is easy. I really, really hope this is easy. <laughs> it should be though, like, it's just two bolts. Looks like we're under a little bit of a tornado watch. It's a tornado warning that went to the south of us.
food. Yeah, this is fun. This is a great time. Tilly's not all pretty. I'm on vacation and you're like, go jump in the dinghy and bail it out. Sure. <laughs> oh, sure. Just like Let me go fun. help you bail it out. Oh, it's like wicked fun. Yeah, sure. You can see a little yuckiness I was in there earlier. Good job, babe. Keep up the good work. I'll pay for a later. <laughs> Work. Work. Did it come out, babe? Oh, comes. Come on, man. Come on. Was that? What? Look at what I got to wake up to. Oh, they just furled it. Got too windy. So the reason I'm getting excited about this, the uh, the gumbo um, has a flying, I think it's a code zero, it's a flying furling system where they can furl their sail and then they can lower the whole thing furled to the deck. Yeah, basically it's, it's the new technology that uh, they're using in the America's Cup and uh, the Volvo Ocean Races, but it's trickling down and it's really cool stuff. Sweet. One thirty. Getting ready for a little storm action. It's weird watching this thing when the wind comes. You can see it stay level. The boat heels. See how much the boat heels. So basically, Mike is on his way back north, and if I want to go to the Bahamas, I need to meet him in Miami on Wednesday, and it's Monday. Next time on Escape, we say goodbye to Josh and Nation and meet back up with Mike on Paviti Turn in Miami. 
and then jump off and cross the Gulf Stream to the Bahamas. Got into Miami last night, like 12.15. Wasn't planning on coming in at night. He's just gonna slow down outside, but Miami is very bright at night. It's actually really easy to come in. You can see a lot. It's beautiful here though, finally some nice water. <laughs> Just want to thank you guys for following us south. Really appreciate all the support. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out some of our most recent episodes. And if you really want to get a dose of escape, start with episode one and watch them all. Head on over to followescape.com. Check out our social media accounts and see where we're at.